Hi, this is Charlie giving you Friday's live trading. It's uh, 7.26 a.m. and I've just got all set up and um, I think I want to um, get a long off straight away here on the pound. So uh, let's get a ticket ready. So I just want to get one unit in at the moment. So long straight away here on the pound. And um, and I'm, I want to look at some of these other markets as well. So I want to look at the euro and I want to look at the, the, um, the dollar yen. So um, I'm basically looking at... Uh, dollar weakness play to here today and um, so I wanted to just get um, at least one unit off here on the pound first of all and then I'll um, um, look at these other markets so pr I'll press pause for a second okay so I just press pause for a bit there and I was talking to the guys in the trading room as well because I'm, I'm doing this recording whilst talking to the guys in the trading room and um, so we've got this one unit in on, on the pound I want to get more in so but what I'm going to do is um, just after half past seven, uh, I'll, I'll wait and see if um, if we can get just a, 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 a small retracement. I'm not looking to, for too much. Maybe perhaps a retracement down to this white line here, which is my um, my 50 period moving average on this five minute chart, or we might have a pivot come in at, at 8 a.m. So, um, so that's what we're looking for. So it looks like um, yeah, this this this, this pound play on. Um, I'm going to then um, be looking to run the pound. Um, we've got if we take you to an hourly chart, we've got this hourly 50 as a potential target up here, and then there's some levels just a little bit above that as well. So with some target levels, roughly around about um, 15, 10 to 15 pips up away from where we currently are. I just hope that we don't um, keep on going with me only having one unit in. <laughs> so, um, but that's where we are at the moment. We've got the one unit in, and um, and we'll see. Sometimes you know you put a the the market doesn't want to um, get, allow you because I'm I'm having to I've had to pay up a little bit here, so I don't want to go in with my full units um, um, when you're having to pay up. So, um, but there's no reason the market doesn't have to retrace. So um, that hence why I've put that one unit in because of that. It doesn't have to retrace from looking at the market here, but hopefully it does. And if it can, then I'll get that extra unit in. So that's the little plan here. I was looking at the euro dollar. The euro dollar's already hit some resistance here this morning, so I can't touch the euro because that's against resistance. Even though the euros, if I show you the chart, it's had a tremendous run here um, in the early hours, um, but um, but it's hit resistance, so I can't really do much with that. I'm not really really willing to sell it, even though it could want to back away from there. Um, there's no new milk wheel news out this morning, so that's good. Um, and uh, oh, and lastly, the Aussie dollar. I am looking at the Aussie dollar. So if the Aussie dollar manages a bit of a pullback, then I will get in on the Aussie dollar as well. So there's a couple of opportunities here today um, for us to be looking to trade. I haven't looked at the likes of the dollar Canada or anything like that. So. Um, sorry, I just got distracted then. And so we are on for this pound dollar so I shall press pause for a second and um, we'll see if we can get some more in right actually um, before we go any further uh, we've got a, I've got a special very special guest with me today a very special friend of mine uh, actually one of the first traders that I trained back in you say it was 2005 Phil um, so I've got Phil Selby here he's over from New Zealand they, they emigrated Phil and Robbie his wife um, they emigrated um, just after our wedding in two, <laughs> I don't know what we did with Phil but uh, yeah just after our wedding in 2010 um, they emigrated, and, um, and we've remained um, great friends, you know, despite the um, the long distance. So anyway, so um, I just wanted to pass um, over to Phil. He's got 60 seconds to just impart some of um, his learned um, knowledge, whatever he wants to say. He's got 60 seconds to say hi, uh, and I appreciate that some of you know who Phil is, and a lot of you won't. But um, it doesn't matter. He's a trader who's been around since 2005 now, and um, let's um, hand you over. Uh, morning, everybody. Um, I think uh, what I want to talk to you about very briefly is um, uh, adapting, and uh, it's something I've had to do uh, since I moved to New Zealand. Uh, haven't changed anything uh, about the basic uh, learning and approach that uh, uh, Charlie um, has worked with me on. Um, you know, in all the years that that we've been together. But um, uh, I'll bore you with a quote first off. Uh, Charles Darwin uh, once said that the, uh, the uh, it is not the most physically strong nor the most intellectually capable who will survive. 
it is those who are most adaptable to change and that's uh, that's really uh, uh, so applicable to trading it uh, uh, markets change situations change and you've got to be able to adapt uh, and adapt successfully if the strategies that uh, we know um, are so powerful that you use are going to continue to work for you and that's something that in moving to uh, into uh, to New Zealand uh, I've had to do um, and um, you know it takes patience it takes time um, but um, you've just got to uh, stick to your process stick to what you know uh, and adapt uh, adapt the way you do that to the situation that you find yourself in so all of you going forward wherever you are um, uh, I think that's the best piece of advice that I can give to you uh, thanks for that Phil and so um, we're five minutes into this so I'm gonna press pause because otherwise this video update is gonna be a long one again I think it is gonna be a long one and um, and we'll come back to these uh, trades shortly right I'm just back it is now 20 past 8 there's not really too much going on not surprisingly we've got all the news out this afternoon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack up some orders because I'm not going to be around much here this morning um, with Phil being here with me so I'm taking him out um, and his wife out so um, I'm going to put some orders in so let's um, in, so instead of me sitting here doing live trades I'm going to set some orders up so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in at 165.85 um, because that's um, we've got a little 8 a.m. pivot there, four-hour pivot. So um, I'm going to get that order in, and let's put a stop loss in. At, uh, I want to put a stop uh, around about 165.63, 165.63. 165, so I'm, what I'm, I'm I'm putting some um, some sort of wider stops ish in. Um, well, not really, 20 points, aren't they? But I'm putting some um, stops in that just give it a little bit of breathing space for the day. Um, but but um, uh, and, and obviously I've got to work out the, the, the targets as well and, and set some targets because some of the targets I'll be looking to run. So I won't be necessarily um, trying to bank profits across uh, uh, immediately as soon as we hit those initial targets. Wait, 165.80 is the, is the second one. So just staggering these, let's put this um, oops stop in place um, at 165.63. And actually I'll put a, um, uh, a profit target in at and that is at 166 so 16599 we'll put that in that then so there you go so I've put two more orders in there um, so one of them will trigger very quickly if we come down a little bit more here and then one other ones down at 80 that'll do for now um, and I'm gonna come back um, later and we'll see how these are getting on. So I've put one limit order in. I need to put another limit order in on that first entry. So let's go back to that first entry. Here it is. Oh, let's see if we can. Uh, so I need to put the stop in, don't I? Uh, one sixty-five, sixty-three, and then I'll put another. I'll put a limit order in there as well at uh, one sixty-five, ninety-nine. Right. Okay. So that's that and done. So and then I've got one of those orders. Um, we'll just we'll just leave open open ended um, on the upside. So uh, that's where we are for now. I think we could chop around all day. Um, we, if we're going to chop, we could come all the way down here and then all the way up and could do some swings. So um, we'll leave it at that for now, and I'll be back to this uh, later on. Update. Okay, just back on the uh, the video update here. Um, We've been out for most of the day, and Phil's now headed off, so he's off for a couple of weeks doing his travels around the UK, um, and he'll be back at the end of his trip for a couple of days in September. Um, and since I've been gone, um, we've got triggered into the the add-in, so I had a, that order at 85 and then at 80, so that's, that's great, and then it's just them scooped back up. So, um, so we're just seeing now, it's now quarter to three, uh, Yellen's speaking in 15 minutes and we're going to see how that's going to affect this market. Now, the, obviously the downside risk is that the pound may want to come down. There's, an, there's a weekly 50 period moving average down a bit below um, the, the lows of yesterday. Um, so zoom out. Um, so it's a bit lower down. 
about um, 165 650 I think it was somewhere down there but I'm not willing to just have a wide stop just to try and put it the other side of there because obviously it's a weekly chart and on the weekly let's actually bring the weekly chart up there it is um, we could um, you could always still see a plunge through that level before then it coming back up so um, we'll, we'll have to just see what's going to happen here with um, with the pound but I know, but even if um, the pound was to come down this afternoon and I get stopped out here today um, what I will be looking for next week will be long side plays. I'll be looking for excuses to get long on the pound. Because um, So basically what I do is I look at the momentum to come in and if I've got positive momentum then, I'll, then I know that I'm clear to then trade that pound. So, um, so that's what I'll be looking for as we go into next week. Right, I'll press pause for now and we'll come back to this once um, um, we get some movement. Okay, so um, it's three o'clock and uh, as you can see the market's just getting a bit spiky as uh, Janet Yellen's um, starting to speak. I don't know if she's actually started speaking yet, but the market started moving around anyway. In anticipation, if there hasn't, if she hasn't already um, just yet. So um, I'll press pause and we'll just see what's what's going to happen. We got very close to my first target up there. We got to what just about 98. Not quite enough to hit my target. Was at what 99, wasn't it? So um, we'll just see if it's going to move up. If it starts coming up there, then um, we'll see if um, it can hit the, that first target. We'll see. I'll press pause for now. Right, okay, so that news is out, uh, Yellen's spoken, um, we came down a bit, we've come back up a bit, and we're just sitting in the range at the moment. So um, let me bring up the account so you can see uh, where where that is. So there we go, so we're up, uh, sorry, we're down £70 at the moment, stops are all in, and um, so it's what, 28 minutes past 3 in the afternoon, and I really want to get this video out to you. So. I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to see what happens with this pound as we go into either the rest of this afternoon. It might come down and stop me out this afternoon, or uh, maybe gradually it, it comes up next week. We shall see. But either way, uh, we're looking to um, probably get on the long side of the pound next week anyway, regardless. Um, and um, if we can get some positive momentum, so um, I think that's pretty much. I'm just going to call that a wrap um, and say, okay, well, uh, this is where we are at the moment. I'm down 44 pounds now, <laughs> but if it goes up, then I'll probably make a couple hundred pounds, two or, th uh, two or three hundred pounds. If it gets up to the target, if it comes down, I'll I'll lose about uh, 300 pounds. So, um, um, but really, I, I need it to come up to the target and break out and um, into next week and, and go higher next week. So, we'll see how that works out, and um, I'll be back in touch um, on Tuesday. Take care for now. Have a nice week.